So let me know if this sounds like you. Your alarm clock goes off to wake you up at an ungodly hour. And after hitting the snooze button eight times over the next 30 minutes, you decide to muster up as much energy as you can and start scrolling through your phone. And after a good 15 minutes of that, you'll kind of grudge along everywhere for the next couple hours, trying to fuel yourself with endless espresso or energy drinks. But that groggy feeling that you started the day with kind of just stays with you, doesn't really go away. This used to be me pretty much every single day. And after doing a bit of research, I found out it really wasn't just me. More than a third or 36% of teens report feeling tired for the majority of the day. That's insane. These are youthful beings. Like we're supposed to be full of energy and excitement, but the majority of the time we're not. What I ended up doing, which helped a lot, was changing three fundamental things that impacted my energy, which was my sleep, diet, and exercise. And look, you've probably heard this a million times before, right? Sleep, diet, exercise. But before you click off, we're gonna address these three topics in a different way where we can just change one small thing to have a big impact on our energy levels. So the first one is sleep. And this is an obvious one, right? Like it makes sense that your sleep, your recovery period is going to have an impact on your energy levels. Yet it's become weirdly normalized to get as little sleep as possible. Like we'll, we'll even brag about it too. Bro, I only got five hours of sleep last night. Five? That's lucky, I only got three. Like no, neither of you guys are lucky, just very sleep deprived. Although there's a recommended amount of sleep, everyone's a little different. But I would argue that more important than the quantity of sleep you get is the quality. I'll have days where I can get 10 hours of sleep and wake up really tired and other days where I'll get six hours of sleep and feel weirdly energized. The way you make sure your quality of sleep is good is to establish a good circadian rhythm. Our circadian rhythm is what tells our body to go to sleep, but more importantly, it tells us when we should wake up. That's why my grandma was able to wake up every single day at 8 a.m. sharp without an alarm clock. And it's the same reason why when we travel and we get jet lagged, we feel like crap because our circadian rhythm's all messed up. To get that right, you need to let your body naturally produce melatonin, which helps our body go to sleep. And you know, there are a lot of methods and whatnot on how to do that, but I feel like the most important one is to get rid of your stupid phone. Using your phone or any screen really for that matter close to bedtime is one of the easiest ways to mess up your circadian rhythm. The blue light from our cell phone screen messes with our production of melatonin, which will make it harder for us to go to sleep, but more importantly, it'll also make it harder for us to wake up. Try to put your phone away 30 minutes before bed and instead replace that with a night routine, right? Something that kind of helps you wind down and get ready to go to bed. Personally, I'll read for a bit, journal, and then drink some water. And that's it. It doesn't have to be complicated. Its purpose is to just get you ready for bed and prepare you for the next morning. The second thing is our diet. It's no secret nowadays that the food we eat is going to make us who we are. You are what you eat from your head down to your feet. And it's no different with our energy levels either, right? What you consume is going to have an impact on how you generally feel. If you eat a lot of crap, you're going to feel like crap. That's just how it is. And I'm not gonna get into any specific foods to eat or avoid or any specific diets. Like you should only eat vegetables, nuts, and fat-free milk for the rest of your life now. But what you should definitely do if you want your energy levels to increase is to drink more water. Drinking water is so overlooked yet it has so many benefits and increases your energy levels. Studies have shown that your brain is strongly influenced by hydration and even just mild dehydration can have a big impact on your brain functions. I find that if I have a water bottle that I keep with me wherever I go, I'll find myself drinking water all the time. I just kind of do it and I don't really have to put in much effort. Just be mentally prepared to have to use the bathroom every 30 minutes. But yeah, drink more water. And then the last factor is exercise. And this one's interesting because you would think that if you're running and sweating and doing all these physically demanding things, that's gonna take away from your energy where in reality, the opposite is actually true. Exercise has actually been shown to increase our energy levels throughout the day, right? It releases endorphins, which are the body's natural hormone for when we need a quick burst of energy. It's been shown to increase cardiovascular health, improve cognitive function, concentration, decrease depressive symptoms. There are a ton of benefits that I don't wanna bore you guys with, but you're gonna have to trust me, exercise more. And if you go to the gym or run or do any sort of physical activity consistently, you know what I'm talking about. Right, like yes, you're tired, but it's a good kind of tired. It's a, I accomplished something kind of tired, not I'm a lazy bum kind of tired. And that energy that you get from exercising will carry on with you for the rest of the day. But yeah, so those three things, diet, sleep, and exercise, if you make those small adjustments to those, you'll find a whole lot more energy throughout the day. Thank you guys for watching. Dude, these are disgusting.